So what we're doing here is a combined arms breach. Uh, what that means is we'll have a, a po opposing force with the striker vehicles. When we talk about com combined arms, we're talking about multiple different types of units. So we'll have a chemical unit coming in that will help uh, this unit as they, they get actually a chemical attack on them. They'll have to go to Mop 4. Uh, they'll have an engineer battalion. Uh, elements to come in and breach the obstacle itself using uh, explosives and their vehicles to do that uh, and then we'll have MPs uh, as well that provide security for that breach and then they'll, they'll, they'll actually go through the obstacle and secure on the back end. So that's what we'll see this morning uh, in this, this breach. So we've seen chemical attacks in Syria, uh, we've seen those in other places around the world, we have threats of that in North Korea. Uh, our soldiers are training for chemical at attacks, so we'll, we'll be in full mop uh, gear as they go through this as a, as a means to train them on how they would react inside full mop gear, full protection gear. Uh, it's going to be a challenge for the soldiers because it, it really reduces their, uh, their ability to see the environment uh, and react to things. Um, so this will be a good training environment for them to go through that. So we have soldiers from Florida, Maine, uh, Hawaii, uh, California, Co uh, my units from Colorado. Um, so we have units from all over the, all over the country that are here. Okay. Plus, plus uh, international soldiers. We have Canadians, uh, UK, Saudi Arabia, and so on. This is a the fantastic place for us to come and train. This is the, the largest uh, Army Reserve uh, training uh, installation that exists in the United States. And what it allows us to do is have a very big maneuver space. You can see we have close to 7,000 soldiers on the installation right now. Um, we were projecting 10,000 when we first came to the exercise. Uh, and, and so that's the largest, uh, what we call combined arms. Uh, training exercise we've had in the Army Reserve to date. Um, and the reason that counter leg is so important for us is because it gives us all this space to be able to do things like this. Uh, we have not only this, but we have a, a big MP operation that's going on this morning as well. Uh, the, the, the chemical units will be able to do uh, decon lanes. Uh, and so we can maneuver across the entire space here from a, from a vehicle perspective and, and from a dismounted perspective. Here. This is this is the place to make mistakes. You don't want to do that in combat. And that's what training is about. So the reasons we have to continuously train and continuously build our readiness is is uh, you know for, for our soldiers' safety and for our soldiers' ability to operate and, and win in bit and, and uh, be decisive in, in uh, combat. They have to do these things. They have to learn this part. And for the reservists, this is critically important for us. So having opportunities to come out here, and I've been here for almost a month on the ground to be able to do this type of operation and have our soldiers see the improvement from day one when they showed up and we we're starting to transition from civilian world to now to military world and now where we're at we're actually be able to do a com combined arms breach is pretty impressive. I think what you'll see this morning is uh, uh, the Army Reserve doing what the Army Reserve has been designed to do um, and it's really important for the community to understand how important Hunter Leggett is for, for the military to train in this environment and have these opportunities. Uh, and this is, this is where we learned our skills uh, and develop our readiness. And, and this is one example of, of that readiness being, being built.